Hey guys, got a cool bike here. I want to talk about it, get into it, what we did to it, what kind of bike this is, and why this bike is freaking awesome. So if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout, e-bike builder, mechanic, repair, converter, and uh, yeah, let's get right into this thing. So this is a specialized stump jumper. You've seen I've done, done I think this is at least my second stump jumper I've done. I've um, got a Cyclone on one. This is a BBS 02 on this one, but so these are just nice bikes. These, this is like kind of the epitome of buying a good bike and then converting it into an electric bike. This thing is, is just premium components pretty much from end to end. Fox shocks, front and rear, hydraulic disc brakes, a 10 speed cassette in the rear, SRAM X9 shifters, and SRAM hydraulic brakes. This thing just, it's just nice. And they're 29 inch tires. So you can see these things are just monsters. So they're gonna just grip. These are just like motorcycle tires. Yeah, look at this, nice and, nice and easy to, carry this thing it's got a built-in carry handle this is a big frame like, like this customer is a big guy so this is a you're not seeing seeing double the, these aren't two bikes this is one big bike here so yeah this is just a great bike full suspension thing just is really smooth so let's get into what we put onto it so we got the bbs 02 the Bafang bbs 02 motor on it it does fit on here this bottom bracket has a 73 inch shell if I'm not mistaken so you could put a BBS02 or an HD on it put a gear shift sensor on it we went with the 500c display so it's a nice nice display I couldn't fit my 17 and a half amp hour battery in here it was just barely wouldn't fit and also like these bottle bolts aren't totally lined up so I would have had to drill new holes anyways if I wanted to fit something in here. So instead we went with a 52 volt, six amp hour battery right here. Fits nice. It's nice and tucked away right here. So yeah, I think it looks super inconspicuous, nice and clean. We put brake cutoffs, hydraulic brake cutoffs up here. When you're braking, it's not still going, still sending power when you're trying to brake. That could be dangerous. I think that's about it. All right, so let's go put it through some Johnny Nerd Out tests and see how this thing performs. All right, yeah, you can see this thing climbs like a beast. Um, top speed was only 30, but I think it's because it's cold out here. When it's cold, batteries don't really put out their best performance. It's like something else I know. But yeah, I'd say in the summer with a fully charged battery, this would probably do like 32 miles an hour without pedaling. So, I mean, that's pretty good. That's plenty fast. Pretty happy with the way this bike turned out. And uh, I think it's gonna bring many miles of smiles to the customer. E-bikes are the future, guys, not children.